Damn. Okay, a lot of shit is new. Howdy, hey. <laughs> How you doing, baby? <laughs> you good? You straight? You good? All right, now. <laughs> so today, as you've already seen from the title, <laughs> I stopped smoking, man. I had stopped been smoking the weed, man. Yeah, I had to. Because this shit was just... So I am an avid smoker. I am an avid stoner. And to be honest, I haven't started using it for medicinal purposes until about 2000 and... Oh, jeez. 2000 and like 15? No. 2000 and... 14 is when I I was using it medicinally but didn't didn't know I was and 2015 was when I really realized I was so before we get into all of that let's get into all of the other <laughs> we got to bring it back real quick so I never smoked <laughs> never smoked like you know how you be in high school and shit and people be drinking and smoking I might have a little drink you know what I'm saying? I might, if you pass me a little drink, I might take a little wine cooler from your ass. But smoking, nah, I just never was one to do it. I just Not that I didn't want to do it or I wasn't interested, but it just wasn't in my vicinity. The people that I hung out with didn't smoke, so it just wasn't around me. It wasn't around me until I was, oh, Jesus. It wasn't around me until I started dating my... The last person I started dating in high school, like my, I guess you can say it's my high school sweetheart because we dated and then we ended high school and we still was dating for like years after that. So yeah, high school sweetheart. Um, I think the first, he, that was the first time I actually had smoked was with him. I never smoked with anybody before. Um, and that shit was crazy. He just, and this happened when we were like way out of high school, like way after the fact. Um. I don't know. It was just his idea to get me high one day. I, I guess he thought my cool needed to be cooler or he wanted to see what it would be like. <laughs> and I was like, all right, cool, because I trusted him. I didn't think he would do anything crazy or nothing like that. And he didn't. Um, but this nigga was smooth with it. He, we smoked and we rode around. And, you know, I smoked a little bit. I ain't hit a lot, just a little bit. And um, <laughs> he parked right in front of Domino's. <laughs> He parked right in front of Domino's and shit. We start having a conversation. We laughing, joking. Next thing you know, I'm talking to him in the car and I look up and I'm like, damn, I sure am hungry. <laughs> and that's why we were there because he had all the pieces. Like Domino's was our shit. Like we used to fuck up some Domino's, boy. Um, so he had ordered the food and was just driving around and wanted to smoke with me. And that was it. And that was the first time I ever smoked. And then after that, there was a situation where my mom's, one of my mom's exes was like selling weed. I was pinching off his weed because he would sell like really big fucking bags. And I found his stash and I like knew that my boyfriend smoked and shit like that. So I pinched off of like maybe four bags. I just pinched a little bit out of each bag and was able to roll two blunts. And I just showed up to my boyfriend. He came to pick me up and I was like, I got something for you. And he was like, what? And I just popped up with two fucking perfectly rolled blunts and he bust out laughing. He was like, what the fuck? What? Because it just was not me. I was just not that type of person. You would never have looked at me in the past, which I don't think even today sometimes people can tell. But at the same time, we know each other. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was just not, it wasn't my thing. So to for me to not be a smoker, not be around weed like that, to just pop up with two blunts was just like, whoa, you wildin'. I'ma take them and smoke them though, but you wildin'. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. And then I stopped smoking uh, because, well, I stopped smoking. I said that shit like I was hardcore smoking. I did not have to stop. I smoked that one time with him. Even the weed that I was pinching off of, I wasn't smoking it. I just wanted to roll it and give it to him because I was watching him like roll up and stuff. And I just was like, yeah, I just want to give it to him. I don't care. I just want him to know I can do the shit. Um, then after that, I never touched anything again. I went to the military. So of course I wasn't doing anything. 
And then my first, okay, I went to the military and then I got out, right? I did so many years and then I got out. When I got out, uh, right after I had my daughter is when her dad introduced me to weed. Um, Had never smoked before the time before. So yeah, it was a doozy. And then once I started smoking with him, I don't know. It just took me to another place and I just didn't stop. I didn't stop smoking again for a little bit. Um, and then I kind of ramped it back up. Uh, let's see, 2012. Yeah, 2012, 2013. And I kind of was like in and out of it. And then I got back on the bandwagon and then I was going hardcore 2014. Um, 2000, yeah, 2014, 2015, I met my wife or I was, got married to my wife, my ex-wife. Um, she was a connoisseur. That's at least that's what she called herself, a connoisseur of marijuana. Um, and she was a heavy smoker. So we clicked off of the strength of that, um, in the very beginning, like everybody smoking and stuff like that, and, you know, and then we got closer because of other things, of course, but you know, we just, we did a lot of fucking smoking together. We smoked a lot. <laughs> but she also taught me a lot as well. Um, you know, as far as just like, that was when I started to kind of like really get into what is a sativa? What is an indica? What is a hybrid? What does, um, what is one versus the other? How do they hit your body? Uh, you know, just if you don't smoke it, you can also do this with it. You can, you can cook with it if you don't want to actually smoke it. Um, I'm talking about just everything. And it wasn't just, you know, a lot of the information coming from her, which it was, yes, a lot. I give her credit. A lot, a lot of information did come from her. But um, a lot of stuff just was from me researching on my own as well. Because once I'm interested in something, I'm going to start researching it. And we were talking about, you know, horticulture. And, you know, of course, you know, as you talk with the person that you're with, you talk about progressing in life and being together and having all these things. And one of my biggest goals that I'm going to have is... Uh, I'm going to have a farm, but we were talking about having a farm and we were just talking about growing it, selling it, using it to make products and all that stuff like that, because we both were in the beauty industry. So we wanted to make products and all this thing for people to use for mental health or, you know, we both veterans going through mental health situations and all that stuff. Like we had a plan. We, we had a plan. Mind you, the plan is now my plan of what I want to do, but it's not to take anything away from her or, you know, you know, none of that shit like that. But yeah, we had a plan. And, um, you know, fortunately, things just didn't work out. So those are still my plans as far as like having my farm and growing everything. But I just really, when we started talking about like getting kind of like certified and learning about cultivating weeds and stuff like that, I really ramped up and started looking because I really for a minute was about to go to school. We both were. Um, then after that, let's see, in the midst of dating her, I got back into the military. So I was kind of on and off with really smoking. Um, I couldn't really do it like that. Um, so if I did do it at, at all, I had to do it and burn that shit out of my system like immediately. <laughs> but I mean, like I said, around 2014 was when I really started using it medicinally. So 2004. 15, 2016, 2017, being back in the military, stressful as fuck, don't want to be there, being there for one reason and one reason only, but it's just stressful. I've, I've already been here and this is why I am the way that I am. So putting myself back in that stress, I needed my weed. Um, so yeah, I would do it, but just not as often. And it, it really messed with me. But I do remember when I was doing the on and off because I had went back into the military, my dreams were freaking crazy crazy. I'm talking about like nuts. Like when I would stop smoking weed, my dreams were like crazy, crazy. And then even when I would start back up, my dreams like got real crazy. Like I think this is when I really started to experience, um, not necessarily lucid dreaming because I still want to really experience lucid dreaming, which I know I have, I know I have experienced it, but, um, I just want to experience it even more now because I know what it is, but not lucid dreaming, but just like, Dreams that I already naturally have, like my gift of sight through dreaming, 
But man, I don't know. Them shits was just intense. And it's still some of them today that I remember that I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck that means. But maybe it'll come up now. I don't fucking know. But yeah, that was that. Um, And then at one point we were like doing, what was it? We was doing oil because we were trying to get away from smoking and trying to get into more ingesting. So we got into like oil um, and that shit. Woo, oh. Potent. Okay. That shit was great. We would like take the little bit that we had and um we would put it in like candies and stuff like that and just eat the candy and stuff. So yeah, we had a good old time. And then after that relationship ended, I kind of like went into a dark depression, like a deep dark depression, which it really it was a state of deep rest, yes, but it was also me going through my dark night of the soul situation. So, um, I was smoking like really heavy. I was smoking really heavy, but it was not hurting me necessarily in the beginning. It wasn't. And then I started to notice it was a problem because I was like, okay, you're not doing this for help anymore. You're doing this to just kind of like cope and not really think about. And you know that that's not how you process things with weed. That's not how weed filters through your body specifically. You don't, it doesn't make you forget about everything. Yeah, it'll make you go to sleep so you don't have to think about shit, but it brings everything more so to the forefront for me. I don't know about anybody else, but it does it for me. It doesn't take me any fucking where other than straight to the fucking solution of the problem that I got. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like, I don't know. I was just doing it and I was like, okay, I need to stop. And then I took a nice little break, like a month or so off, I think. And then I got right back to it. And it, within the time frame of me taking the month off from doing it, I think I also did like no weed, no no social media. Like I got completely ghost off the grid for a hot minute. And that was great. I actually enjoyed that shit. Um, and I actually really enjoyed being clear, to be honest. I don't have to smoke. Like I realized I don't have to smoke because I realized that the same thoughts that I have when I'm smoking and the same thoughts that I have when I'm not smoking so I don't have to, but it's just fucking nice to have that extra relaxation. Even though I know my body has cannabinoid receptors and all that greatness, and I can reach a level of high on my own if I just tap into it, it's just nice to have that boost that gets you there a lot quicker. <laughs> so yeah, after I went through that situation and came up out of that, um, got back to smoking and having a good ass time. And then I met my last ex just recently. Um, and again, we connected off of smoking and shit like that. He smoked heavy, 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 heavy. But his reasons for smoking was kind of like not just to relax. But I mean, as far as mental, yes, it helped. But I mean, I think he smoked because he was trying to forget about things and it wasn't doing that for him either. But he wasn't trying to do anything else to forget about things like, oh, this isn't good. Or trying to use it and say, like, weed was the gateway drug to something else. Like, he didn't, nah, he never wanted to get higher and it never. <laughs> so, but yeah, we we connected on that and we smoked heavy. And just once this situation happened, I was already smoking. And for whatever reason, I knew before all this happened that I wanted to stop smoking. I had been saying it for months, like, I need to take a break. I need to take another break. I need to take another break. I had to take a break. I was forced to take a break because of some shit that happened. Um, but then even when I came back to it after that, I was just like, I need to take another break. I want to do it again. Um, and this, I guess, was just the time for me to do it. So with me processing all the grief and all the emotions and just everything, I felt like it was best for me to just not smoke. It was just better so that I can be completely clear level-headed and genuinely accept everything that has happened and not, you know, try to use something to hide behind it because I was already going to use whatever I could find to hide behind, not feeling the feelings and not thinking the things, but I didn't want something that was so great for me, something that worked for me medicinally to also be looped into that shit. And then it just turned into a nasty cycle. And then I got my kids to take care of. So I was like, no, I need to be here and aware and present for my kids, which I am also that when I'm high. 
I need to be there for my kids. So um, I just need to stop. Like, I just need to not um, do anything at all, at all. Um, so I just stopped. I stopped for damn near a month, damn near a month. <clears throat> and I honestly, I didn't start really getting emotional, emotional, like thinking about shit with my, myself until I started to smoke again after taking this last hiatus. And I was just like, damn, man, it's just, it's like, oh yeah, I realized it when I was clear headed. I, I realized everything that was happening or that has happened. I understand and stuff like that. But man, shit sucks. Shit fucking sucks. You know, just fucking sucks. So yeah, man, that is my fucking spiel <laughs> on just not smoking through this particular part of my journey because I just felt like it was going to hinder my healing. And it could have possibly made me look at weed in a weird way. And I was like, no, I have a good relationship with weed. Like, I'm not going to fuck it up. If I need to quit, I can quit. Like, I have no problem with quitting. That's why I don't understand that shit when people be like, oh, it's so addictive. This shit is really not addictive. After the first three days, like, you don't really give a fuck. Yeah, if somebody walked past you with a blunt, you'd be like, mm, roll that beautiful bean footage, nigga. But other than that, I mean, you really are like, yeah, I could I could hit the blunt, but I'm good. I ain't really got to. And then shit, once you hit like a week and shit, you really, really don't care. And the further you keep going, the more you just don't fucking care. Like you really just don't fucking care. So I just don't understand that whole situation where people are like weed is addictive. I don't I still don't even understand the whole situation of weed being a gateway drug, honestly, because my thing is weed does not for me personally, and this is what I, I, this is a theory that I have. I feel like why people who smoke it to try to escape, it don't work because it doesn't, it doesn't take you away from your issues. It doesn't take your problems away in a sense. And I feel like people are trying to escape their lives when they do drugs, right? Because weed is a plant, it's not a fucking drug. Um, I think people are trying to escape their lives and escape the situation. And weed doesn't do that. It just brings all these realizations to you. And it helps you process the information in a different way. Maybe slower. Maybe you go too fast and it slows it down. Maybe you're too slow and it speeds it the fuck up. I don't know shit. I know for me it slows shit down because I do a lot of shit like this. But that's because military. They wanted us to do shit like this. They felt like we shouldn't be waiting on y'all. Get your ass up and let's go. So having that mentality, even with how I talk sometimes, I stumble over my words a lot because I was made to shut, spit it out. Hurry up, spit it out. So, yeah, it slows a lot of things down for me, but I feel like it's not a gateway for anybody. If anything, if you trying to say, oh, I started off, I hate when they say that, I started off smoking weed and then I moved on to something else. You moved on to something else because you were trying to escape and weed wasn't helping. You wanted to get higher. Weed wasn't high enough. I don't need to get higher than weed. I'm just saying. Now, don't get me wrong. There are two things that I want to try. One of them is ayahuasca and the other is psilocybin. Have I want to say I had psilocybin, but I don't know the dosage of what I ate. It was inside of a candy, but the candy melted. So <laughs> who's to say I did I didn't even get any in the candy that I even fucking ate. But um, I feel like I might have felt something, but I'm not sure. So I actually want to ingest the actual fucking mushroom to ensure <laughs> that I'm getting premium psilocybin in my system, okay? So those are the only two things that I want to try, only because I hear about the, the ways that they open you up even more to just yourself. And I feel like marijuana has definitely opened me up to myself, but it has mostly opened me up to the shit in this world and makes me or helps me to accept the shit that goes on around me that I really cannot change. And it's not my fault. It's not my responsibility to change it. It's my job to live here and experience and do the things. And that's what it helps me continue to do as well as get some sleep. And as of lately, other than getting some sleep is fucking eat because niggas is wasting away over here. 
Okay, so yeah, I know somebody saying like shit, not your thick ass. <laughs> yeah, right. But no, <laughs> for real though, like I go through spells right now with this situation of like eating and not eating. I will go for days sometimes off of like a meal, snacks. And then I'll just start getting fucking lightheaded and be like, what the fuck is wrong? Bitch, you hungry? Drink some water, do something. <laughs> Don't just be out here exercising, taking care of these kids and, and clean the house and shit. Do some other shit. I got to cut grass soon. This shit's going to be horrible on me. But yeah, man. I don't know. I just never have looked at it as a gateway drug. I've never looked at it as like a, a drug. I've never looked at it as anything bad. I've never looked at it as I have to do more than this. Just I'm just not that type of person. It does exactly what I need it to do, and I don't need to go any further than that. I don't need to be stuck in anything for any money to get anything. Okay? What I do, honest work, to pay for that, I don't need to do any more than that. To get that, okay? To get what I need to get. I'm, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't judge nobody on what they choose to do now. <laughs> but that just ain't going to be me. So, yeah, that's my spiel and I'm sticking fucking to it, okay? So, as of now, like I said, I'm back on the bandwagon doing my thing, but I'm very much more intentional. I told myself I want to be more intentional. Sometimes I can see where I'm kind of like, you know, falling into that habit of, Oh, it's just a, a form of habit. When I wake up, I go do this. Before I go to sleep, I go do this. If I'm about to eat or after I eat, I go do like like having a cigarette. I have to stop myself sometimes and tell myself, no, 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 no. That's not what we do. We don't do that. Mm -mm -mm. Um, But for the most part, I've been very intentional. And I know the reason why I'm doing it. And I say something over it before I do it a lot of times um, to set a good intention for myself. So, you know. <laughs> but thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for showing up for yourself um take care of yourself <laughs> i love you i feel say i love you first wasn't it i love you take care of yourself <laughs> drink your damn water and mind your goddamn business i'm gonna drink mine i'm getting over something but i'm gonna drink mine okay i fucking love you bro now go roll up Smoke some bitch. <laughs>